there are over 40 static libraries throughout the East Riding. There is also a mobile library service which regularly visits the larger villages and residential homes. The service offers a wide range of services including information, books, audiobooks, music CDs, DVDs, language courses, local history and children's books. Also available are computers for internet and email with online reference and information. East Riding Archives are based at the Treasure House in Beverly. The Archives and Local Studies Service collects and looks after documents and local studies books relating to the East Riding. There is a hearing loop and a public research room. The staff are informative and helpful. You can access an online catalogue, enjoy the cafe or use the copying service. East Riding Museums help people to enjoy the history and archaeology of the East Riding and the world of art. Services include displays, lectures, educational events, object identification and talks to local groups. Sites include the Treasure House in Beverly, where there is a museum, archives, art gallery, library and cafe, all under one roof. Sewerby Hall near Bridlington is a country house with a museum and displays about Amy Johnson. There is also a zoo, a craft workshop and tea room set in picturesque parkland. Skidby Windmill near Beverly is Yorkshire's only working windmill. At the mill you'll also find a museum of East Riding rural life, displays, children's interactive exhibits, wildlife garden and picnic area. At Ghoul Museum, explore permanent and temporary displays about the history of Britain's most inland port and historic company town.
Beverly Guildhall is an ancient civic building with beautiful period rooms and a community museum which explores Beverly's history through a programme of temporary exhibits. The Guildhall is open Fridays and selected Saturdays only.